natural self. A natural beauty, okay? No matter what time of day or night, I am stunning. I was told, okay? Anyway. Um, I put my hair in these two cornrows like a day or two ago. And I even tight this just to last, um, just to hold my hair down in a protective style. So I can slap this wig on my head and go to the eye doctors today. My skin is like, my skin broke out. Um, like I knew with the drops, the steroid drops, when I would apply it, now all this would just itch and I would see it to just go across like this. That's how I wanted to scratch because I didn't want to scratch like this. I mean, I would go like this or go like this, but it wasn't enough. I just wanted to take my hands and go. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like if I did that, of course, I'm going to cause a problem. And two, um, that I would bring my skin and I would have that raccoonish look. You know how somebody keeps licking their lip because it's dry and then it forms that white look or whatever? Or somebody keeps blowing their nose or rubbing it. Like your skin, you know what I'm saying? It's irritated and it, it shows. It shows that you had irritation in that spot and I didn't want to look like I had irritation. <laughs> Like a wink. I didn't want to show that I was irritated, but I'm sure, um, well, because I've been in the house and I've only been in you guys' face, the camera doesn't really pick up what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I'm on my phone, but in person, you can definitely see that my eyes and skin around it is not well. Um, I think this just has been going on too long in my eyes. My health is paying for it. It's like when I first, now honestly, now like thinking back, like in February, I noticed something was wrong, but I just thought that, oh, it's my eyes is irritated. Let me throw away the, um, the pencils, the eye, you know, the eyeliners. Let me throw away the pencils. Let me throw away the liquid liners. Let me use a different glue. Okay, so I did that, but then like that was like somewhere around the the middle of February or something like that. Um, when I finally noticed, like I just I just thought it was cat fur because I have cats and I had a weak vacuum, so I'm like, oh, it's so much fur or whatever, you know. And then once I got it, I'm not gonna. Once I got a better vacuum, it did pull up a lot of the fur. And I was like, yes, you can't tell me that was not money. That was good. And I mean, what? Let me. Anyway, so, you know, I, um, so I brought a better vacuum. Um, I threw out the um, medicine. Um, I definitely kept the cats off of my bed. I kept the cats off my bed. Like, I, I mean, like I was really strict about this. Like, no, not even for a hot second. You can't get on my bed. Uh, no. When I, I did, maybe maybe a few times, honestly, I would let Bat jump up on the bed or whatever and be next to me for a second, but I would shoot him off versus before he jumped on the bed, he could just stay in the bed with me as long as I'm in the bed. Like, um, So I thought those things were the issue. Um, cat fur, you know, um, cat in the bed. My makeup, I got rid of that stuff. I, I became stricter with cats, um, and I bought a better vacuum. Now by March, I'm like my eyes are still bothering me, and now I'm seeing the knots. So when I contacted a doctor, it was like, okay, great, well you can come in. Then all of a sudden, appointments started getting canceled. Like, all of my medical appointments got canceled because of COVID. So, everything was over the phone now. So, they would prescribe this. They would prescribe that. And they would prescribe this. And then I'm just like, 
So finally, I came across. Um, anyway, this is where we are since February now. Like, I think my eyes, the knots have shrank, but it's I'm swollen. I'm swollen. The eyes, the knots have shrank. They have, but they're not gone. And like, if I pull my eyelid down, like it's not as it's not as gross as it used to be. That's why I don't mind showing you. So, if you don't want to see a red, red irritation, irritated look on the inside lid of my eye, fast forward now, a few seconds, or look away. But I'm more comfortable showing you this now than I was when hell first broke loose in my eyelids. I did not want to show anybody. But now it's like, you know see what I'm saying? It's just, see like this is starting, to, it's not as red right here, but you can see like a lump. And then it's one over here in the corner. So, you know, before it was like, whoa, what is that in your eyelids? So, like I said, I'm more comfortable now because I feel like I'm, I am somewhere in the healing game. But I think I took a step back somewhere. Um, the steroid drops really helped. They really helped, but they were too strong for me. My, I me, mean, I wish I could. I wish I had a better camera to show you. Like my whole skin is just all rashed out, and it's not from the makeup I was wearing. See what I'm saying? I'm, it was from the eye drops. Like, it broke me out really bad. And it's, I had them, I had to take them for two weeks. Week one, burnt and itched. Week two, felt like fire and a yeast infection all around my eyes. It was just like I told y'all, I wanted to go like this. And yeah, I made those couple of videos because those days I were I was feeling good. I was felt see, oh my god. Oh and I tries not to do that. But sometimes I can't help it. Um I made those videos those couple of days. I thought I was really getting somewhere and I was really careful with my eyes. Um but I don't know. I just want to. I just want to be healthy. So I have a doctor's appointment in an hour. So I put on my um famous um one piece dress. My Aaron. My my Aaron's dress. I like to run my errands in this. I'm about to put my bobos on. I'm about to put my wig on. I probably won't vlog because I don't. I mean, I don't really don't have anything to show. Like you know, the doctor's appointment. Um, maybe I'll. If I see something, you know, that the, the uh, people will destroy downtown or something like that, that I find like, wow, and I I feel like um, it's like something to see, then I'll, you know, probably swing the camera around or take a quick shot of it. But by now, the city should be on its way to um, recovering a little from the damage of the rioters and the looters. And this was not the protesters. I'm so I'm tired of people say those protesters because I slipped and said it before. I didn't mean to say the protesters. I meant to say the rioters and the looters are down there destroying stuff. The protesters are doing what they're supposed to do, protesting. The rioters and the looters are the ones that's... But I really hope that, you know, like... I don't run into nothing down there. I don't hell don't break loose while I'm down there. Hey, I'm messing around and, and, and be out there marching too. That's that's a movement I would love to be a part of. So, yeah, but my dead eyes, I need to go somewhere and get these things healed. I will be back um, with an update. I'll see you guys soon. Shea but a baby. Fucking up your pillow. No, seriously. I just did that because I just needed to get myself in a mood. Oh my God, my spirits be up and down, up and down, up and down. My eyes are burning. Okay. So, 
My left ride should be in within 15 minutes. I'm about to be out of this thing. Pray for me, y'all. You know I'm going to come back with it. I'm going to come back with it. So, I will update you guys on my eyes. And, um, I don't know if I should close this video or if I should just go ahead and extend this video. Like a part one, part two. Before the doctors. After the doctors.